Hey guys, my name is Robert 9743 and welcome back to the Minecraft video. Today, I'm going to show you how to detect if two or more players are nearby in Minecraft. So, there's a lot of mini games that need two players to play, like Bed Wars or Sky Wars or anything like that. And it's quite hard to figure out how to do it. So, I noticed there wasn't many tutorials on this, so I decided to make one. And I only actually found out about this really recently, and it's really useful. So, if you didn't know, the test for command, this is it, the test for command. It just tests for all nearby players in a given radius. But it actually gives off a resident input, so if there's one player nearby, it gives off a redstone input of one. And one of the redstone is lit, as you can see. Let's say, let's pretend this creeper is a player just because this is a single player world. The lamp lights up because there's two players nearby. Now, in an actual mini game, that would be a command block to like start the game or teleport you to the area. And say now the creeper's leaving now, the lamp turns off. It's really easy, it just tests if these players are nearby, and if you were doing uh, something for players, then it would be uh, at A instead of at E, obviously. And you can change the radius to however big you want the thing. And also you can change the amount of players you want, so say now I want three players, that's ready to change. I can just do that. And now, it's two, and three. Well, now it's back to two. So you can do that all the way up to um, 15, I think. So yeah, this is a really easy way to do this, and uh, I will now show an example of how it can be used in a mini game with a teleporting command instead of just lighting up a redstone lamp. So I've just done a really simple change. I've replaced the redstone lamp with a command block that will teleport you to a certain area. Now, this can, you can change the coordinates to whatever you want and the radius, of course. You can change it all players to all entities and whatever you want to do. So, this will just, when I have two players now, I'm going to spawn this creeper in, there will be two players in the area. It will teleport me up here and, of course, subscribe. Now, um,. That's really useful for a lot of stuff, like mini games where you need to teleport to a different area. And honestly, I was really surprised when I found out that the slash test for command actually gave out a resident output like that. And it was really useful for map making and stuff. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then make sure to leave a like and subscribe. When I hit 100 subscribers, I'm going to do an event, so don't miss that. I'm also trying to get 100 subscribers by the end of the year. Also... Make sure to join my Discord server, link in the description, and enjoy this creeper face. Bye.